Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for a request. It was to do Castle Chapter 2. Now there are two Castle Chapter 2s, and I don't know which one. Uh, they're both made by the same person. Um, I'm assuming it's this one because it's kind of like a puzzle. However, we're going to do both. We're going to start with the puzzle one, go to the non-puzzle one, or less puzzle one, and see how we do. Um, so manage the creeper, know how to use shields, manage the creeper, look at the creeper cutoff, uh, prepare yourself before attacking, know to solve puzzles and be an observer. Um, so let's get going again. This is a puzzle followed by a more action oriented puzzle. And this is the map. This is the puzzle. Um, so we have some creeper breeder here. It's not very, it's not like super breeder. It's not like once AC gets to this, the map is over. That would be amazing. Unfortunately for us, it is not. Um, we have two terps on the map, and we cannot make more. We only have two terps on this map. Uh, we have mortars, sprayers, and nullifiers, and that is it. We can make rockets if we so desire. And we have shields and emriffs. That is right. We could, honestly, no, we could do emriffs. We could do lots of stuff, but we're not gonna. We're only gonna do a few little things. Step one, we need to land. Now, we can't land up here. We can't land down here. We have to land somewhere in the goo, unfortunately for us. Oh, that being said, it is also, there's a 50 and a 50 and a 50. That's all that we're up against. But again, we have to deal with the creep. So let's land here. Our first goal is to get the turpin going, right? We want to get the turpin going. We're going to land there and immediately fly over here because uh, we want to build up our terps. Uh, that being said as well, I do want to terraform uh, basically down to this level. Uh, and you will see why in the future. But let's get our butt in gear. Uh, let's uh, nearest first. Let's earn one. Oh, I put our base over there. Oopsie, I meant to be down here and fly over. Okay, we'll be up top and fly on over that way. That's fine. That's fine. So there we go. We are off to the races. Oh my. Now I would at times two speed this. However, I will admit at times two speed, you have to be much, much, much faster with your swaps. And let's see how I do. Let's see. Times two. Yeah, right. I'm swapping, swapping, swapping. We we have a lot of lot to go, so we definitely want to go. This this turp should be good first. So it's just gonna be a minute. It's just gonna be a minute. And ooh. <laughs> as you can see our power generation is not so good either it's one of those things you know power generation uh we're just sort of building up them terps and once it's built uh the drone does have full energy once it's built however that being said uh it's not it's not perfect uh, i am going to supply off temporarily for this one just to build the other one up so it can get going so let's just let's just finish building this other one. As you can see, it's building up some urn, or it's mining up some urns, which I wish it would actually clear the land first because the land is technically power for us. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, there we go. We'll supply back on. We'll be pretty good there this way. As you can see, we are actually clearing the land, which is good. And now we can actually start to say like, hey, let's get a tower there. Let's get a tower here. It's not going to be much power, but I'd rather have some power than none power. That is for sure. So yeah, we'll get we'll get a little bit of power here, a little bit of power there, that kind of thing. And yeah, right now this is our goal. This is our goal. Just sort of build these two up, clear this little island off, this island, very important island, the most important island, if you will. Um, and as you can see, they're not doing anything because the uh, the little drone needs its energy, uh, which is why I did toss down the two towers. They're generating an extra. 0.5 per tick, which is actually quite lovely for me. Uh, 0.5 is quite substantial. And what do we want? What do we want? We want a portair. So unfortunately, this tower's got to go. Uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, these two terps can move their butt over here, which is not unfortunate. Uh, and we will also unearn them. Unearning them because I don't want them to waste their energy on these urns yet. We will eventually, just not quite right now. Uh, let's toss down our porter, which we can grab. Bazinga bazanga, we got a porter. And we'll toss down a another tower or two just to, again, get whatever energy we can uh, while we build this porter. Now, this porter is going to be a blueite porter. There we go. Blueite works for me. Toss it down right on over there. Thank you very much. Wah. Actually, that's not necessarily the best place for it, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't really care. Don't really care. Uh, the real key is we just need the porter built. Now, unfortunately, these guys are not going to do nothing because, again, they need the energy in order to uh, send their drone off. It's a, it's a bit of a shame. We are going to do a little bit more terraforming, though. I am going to terraform this entire island. Uh, I want the entire... Ooh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's just do a flood. How about that? Flood it. Boom. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. And we have to decon that. So we will decon boop, that. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. So we'll let them do their thing. Uh, granted, they will need energy, and it's unfortunate they're not going to get it for quite a while. That's okay. There we go. Okay, we got blue light. Perfect. Let's get our butt back up here. Let's toss down a couple of towers up here as well. Again, just for that lovely energy reserve. Um, and as you can see also, it is, while we are going to turp it up, they are clear spots that we can get some energy for, which is just very good news. So here we go. Let's build up these towers first. They'll give us a little bit of extra juice uh, that we're looking for. Bazinga, bazanga. Just that little bit of juice. Just that little bit of juice. That's all we really need. And there we go. We're already off to the races. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Looks pretty good to me. And you know what? I think I think these guys are doing so good, they're going to get their urns back. You did it. You did it, fellas. Get those urns going on. Uh, ooh, I'm actually surprised. Can, no, they're, not, they're still not going for the uh, other things first, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, and this is now we can start to plan, right? We can... Oh, wait... Well, I mean, we can land at least. Let's at least land for now. <laughs> so let's land. Let things sort of stabilize. Let's toss down another blue light. Let's grab a factory. I want the factory to be over here, so we're going to have to get rid of this uh, tower very, very soon, which is fine. I just want this area clear, uh, and then we'll be pretty good, pretty good. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, nice. Now, the reason I wanted to, to raise the whole land is it's just a bit more of a buffer, as you can see. Just a little bit more buffer against that creep. Seems pretty good to me. Uh, we will want a Factorio, so that's pretty nice. Let's toss one of those down. I'm going to get rid of this for an Urn Portolo. Uh, Urn Port, not really necessary. Uh, I just like it. I'm a fan. You know, I like Urn Ports. Uh, we'll toss down another Blue White container there. Uh, and yeah, let's grab our Urn Port because we have the urns for it. So works for me, works for me. Uh, and with this, uh, do, 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 do. I guess we want some power here. Just some power along here, and something like that. We got plenty of power, plenty of power. Um, so now we're in a pretty good spot, right? We, we have some power. We're going to get an urn port. We're going to get a factory. Uh, our terps are effectively done. I mean, we can. I guess we can send them over here. They are full, and they'll just dig up these urns. So that's kind of cool. Good for them. Um, again, we just see now we're in the good zone, right? Well, now we can start just dropping this. Look at this. This factory is filling up. Um, and I just want this urn port filled uh, first before I do anything else, because it will be uh, getting some energy collection, which is not much, but any energy collection right now is good energy collection, right? We can do a bunch of stuff right now. We can, if we wanted to, start getting red on with a, with a porter. We could be getting, you know, all sorts of things. I don't, I, I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm not going to lie. Um, I want just a bunch of sprayers up here and a bunch of sprayers down here. Uh, and I'll put one over here and I'll put one over here. And all of these will be armed off. Now, we don't have the energy to build all these. I mean, clearly. Now, that being said, we got times four speed. And times four speed will do it. Now, again, the real key is here we want supply off. Without a doubt. Uh, Porter, I want you... Just keep dropping. Keep it dropping. Wherever you can at this point. Just keep it coming. Because we're going to be using these like the wind. Oh, my. I think I guess that's all we can officially do on this little island. But there we go. Look at that. We you saw how fast it just drained these things, right? Drains them real fast. So we're gonna get a little bit of a supply here, just a little bit, just a little bit, you know, just like that. Uh, and then once this lands, I think we are good to go. So let's go back to two times speed. And yeah, we're we're just on the offensive now. We have all these units. We have 12 urns available and 11 sprayers. So seems pretty good to me. Let's just toss them all over here. Now we are good. We are going to want to save our terps at some point. Uh, our terps are so, sort of in the danger zone right now, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's just arm these bad boys up. They have 100% fire rate, fire range, all of the good stuff. Um, we have a, a large store. Ooh. That's weird. Your sprayers not make a noise when they fire. Uh, times four is actually, or this is times two, holy moly. I thought they Weird. Um, but look at that, we are clearing the land. Holy moly, that is gorgeous for us. Now that being said, our factory is not necessarily the best, right? It's not, 
It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to do well enough, right? Just well enough. We have 1.6 generation from the urn port, which is honestly huge. It doesn't seem like much, but again, we don't have that much energy gen to begin with. So just a little bit goes a very long way. Uh, and yeah, now we're gonna start with some, uh, some more tearing, right? We can now move our butts over, uh, move our sprayers out. We're grabbing some mortars, it's great. Uh, as you can see, we're just spreading around, and this is kind of how we're going to go. Now, one thing to also note is we just connected to a 1,000 energy node. 1,000. That's quite a lot. It's not, it's not infinite by any means. Don't get me wrong. Um, also, we're also going to earn want the mortars and earn none on the sprayers. We are done with the sprayers. They've done their duty, right? We've sort of spread out. We are using the blue light pretty much... Ex not exclusively, but not oh, a bit too much even. Um, you know, you move down, and let's just put it right next to the factory. There we go. Um, but again, we're feeling... Okay, that's weird. Okay, so we do hear the mortars. I, was, <laughs> I didn't realize sprayers were completely silent. They're silent and evil. Um, and yeah, now our main goal is just to start spreading out. We want to use that thousand energy, and again, we have urns. So that's the big key. We're gonna have all of these bad boys with urns. Oop, I let one. Oh, oh no! Oh no! A couple died. A couple died. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, and a couple towers are dying. But hey, that's fine. If you look at the creeper level on the map, it is pretty low. Now that being said, we just lost our source of blue light. So the sprayers, their job is super done. We're gonna put them on always on just to use up the rest of the AC at this point. But it's kinda over, right? The sprayer life is kinda over. However, you may, I mean, you can kind of see we've made some pretty good strides. Now, their creep level is still—it's not zero, of course. But I mean, you can see we've really gained a lot of ground. Um, we are in a massive deficit. I mean, surprise, surprise. Me, deficit, go figure. But I don't really care too much about the deficit, right? Right now, especially as we get these towers, our AC is sort of spread enough that it's holding, right? Uh, and with uh, these shooting the emitters directly, these aren't really producing, right? It's this emitter that's producing, and it's just this side, right? The rest is kind of... kind of sorted when you think about it, right? Uh, it's not too bad. So, yeah, not too bad at all. And we can just sort of do whatever, right? This is super thin. Uh, we can spread this around, spread this around, go all the way up. And one big key that I want to do right now is move, say, you, 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 and yeah, you too, over to here. Because we start shooting this emitter directly, that should be it, right? The real key is once, you, once you're shooting the emitters directly, everything else just sort of dies. And look at that, we're out of our deficit. Uh, we're feeling pretty good. We even reconnected to the blue white. It's a happy, happy day indeed. Um, yeah, we're just we're just in cleanup mode now. So we can even toss down a nully here. We can toss down a nully here. We can grab some uh, some refineries because we are gonna need some of that delicious green R. Don't need much, I don't think. I think it's just the there's three totems and each totem needs twenty lift X, so not too much at all. And yeah, that should be essentially the map. Uh, of course, we need to clear up everything. I mean, I guess I'll toss down some sprayers over here just so they can spread around. We are over, we're in a deficit again. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But again, once we actually get these nullies on, uh, that's going to be a lot less mortars firing and having to fire and stuff like that. Uh, this area is just being cleared out by AC, which is great. Uh, all the spray. Oh my gosh, look at this. The entire map completely cleared. Just one nully to go. Buzzinga, buzzanga. We kind of, we kind of did it. Uh, now, we didn't use shields, like they kind of said, like, you know, know your shields. It would help, it doesn't hurt, it does clear more land, but we we just cleared it with the, the supreme amount of AC that we had, right? I mean, it feels pretty good to me. Uh, two nullies on, two totems on, and I'm sure the last totem, I don't even, it's right there, it's coming on. And yeah, that is Castle Chapter 2, the first one. And now we are gonna bozinga. Uh, nullify the last enemy. That'll get us the reclaim. I find it funny that it you, you like have to nullify to reclaim. Uh, but there we go. There's the nullification. Here's the reclaim, and that is officially Castle Chapter Two. The the puzzle one. 
<laughs> I don't quite know. Um, but that's the first one. We are going to go straight into the second one. We're going to see how we did. Uh, again, probably could have been faster. Again, with, with all the speed things, it definitely left worsens this, the time. But I don't care about the time. I was just having a good time. Uh, we did in, what, 13 minutes? Yeah, you know what? Not too bad. There's like 11s, 12s. There's a tenner. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I feel pretty good about that one. Let's submit away and uh, exit that mission. Um, so there we go. We're going to Castle, Chapter 2. Number two? I think? I don't even know how to say this. But yeah. Ooh, uh, give it a look. Um, and here we go. Uh, I'll give this a preemptive look. Defend your castle from the creeper's enemies. We have to defend our castle. Uh, and that is castle chapter two. So now we officially have a castle. Look at this bad boy. Uh, we have loads of enemies, as you can see. We got some dark towers. We got three air sack attacks. We got skimmers. We got blobs. We got... Uh, 15 spores, and then we also have the super spore launcher. That's right, we have the ultra spore launcher. So that's what we're up against. Uh, plenty, plenty, plenty to be up against. Uh, we have our some defenses in place. We're gonna want more, so let's uh, let's just toss down a little ring like that. Um, we have loads of energy though, right? Thousands of energy in these boxes. We also have six of these bad boys. Can't argue with that. We also have loads of miners. So let's get those on the go, right? Mine me up inside, please. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we're going to hit, ew. I'm going to just go boop, up, and beep. Uh, and then of course we are going to want some defenses. Now, as you can see, uh, this is sort of a breeding ground in that one uh bad boy the one spore launcher is gonna be basically firing at this non-stop the entire time it's just the way it's gonna be uh we gotta deal with it but that's okay we can definitely deal with it uh we can toss down all right six urns in there we're gonna toss down urns in all of these we're gonna toss down urns in all of our lovely miners uh we're gonna toss down a sprayer here uh we're gonna build Another, I want to toss, uh, gross. I want to have another set of towers all the way up here. Again, we have like 600 energy in the reserve to start, plus all of our, all of our boxes. Um, we're going to toss down a uh, runway. Uh, we're going to do one up at the top, one sort of in the middle. That seems pretty good to me. One more down ought to do it. Yeah, right about there. Seems pretty good. Uh, you got an urn, right? Yes, yes, yes. Bombers. Uh, we'll toss down uh, the boxes in the way. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Uh, those boxes won't be there forever, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, bazinga, bazanga. Feels pretty good. Can we fit two in there? We can fit one. Yeah, we can fit two. Perfect. Perfect. It all lined up nicely. Now, same thing over here. The boxes are definitely going to be in the way. Uh, so we're just going to sort of fit what we can in. Which is not the most, but it's not nothing. So I'll take it. Uh, and then, last but not least, do we have anything else? Uh, the sprayer needs to be always on, of course. Always on. Uh, so we can get that juice of flowing. Oh, and of course, we want this wall to disable AC blocking, right? Let's get rid of it. All of them. Get out of here. And I think that's basically everything, right? This should be 5,000 lift deck right off the rip. That's pretty good if you ask me. But yeah, I, th I, th I do think that's everything. Um, la oh, no, no, it isn't. Of course not. We want defenses. So, bazinga, bazonga, defenses. Uh, all of these give me an urn. Energy, you're going on. We The reason I want this energy on, even though we might not need it because we have 600 in the bank, well, we're going to need some of it. We might. I'd rather have all of them on because each of them can build what's close to them. And I just want to build this out as fast as possible. Energy is not a concern. It's just building things. That's the concern. As you can see, this is already breeding. It's going to put pressure on our walls. We want the more tears up as soon as possible. Uh, we want the sprayers sprayed. We want the cannons up to defend ourselves from this bad boy, launching one every second, which we have the cannons up already, so I feel pretty good. Uh, we want the missile launchers up. We want the urn port active. We want, we want all the good stuff, right? So once we get everything built up, though, we should be fine. As you can see, the red on is coming in. The sprayer is spraying. Uh, and I guess we don't even have pylons. Pylons are always good, of course, right? So let's pylon a little bit. Uh, can we pylon it around? We'll do some of that, right? Pylon, pylon. I guess we could have used rockets here. Maybe this was for rockets, like intended. I don't know. But I feel pretty good with what we got. 
Our generation is so high. I am going to turn off these for now. Um, because you know what? It's better if we can if we can supply it. It's better than if we supply it, right? Feels pretty good if you ask me. Feels pretty good. Uh, what is left? Okay, the things that are left. We are gonna do some turpin. This is this is a map that I want to turp. Uh, we're gonna do some some turpin and so let's just build a whole slew of turps. Uh, Zanga, and again we are gonna do the terraforming. So the terraforming, we want to terraform the land. So let's do that. Let's terraform it to whatever height this green our mother is. What height are you? Height four works for me. Height four go yeah okay so it looks like height four is perfect because that's that's the height that pretty much everything is at Ooh, don't don't want to terraform inside my land though so boop. Bop, beep, bah. just like that and you know we're just gonna terraform the world to height four it works for me see it, it's plenty it's plenty to terraform but we're gonna have we're gonna have the terraforming ability so i'm not super duper worried uh, and yeah, we've essentially cleaned off the world. Uh, let's move out our sprayer over here to get the AC sort of flowing. But I think, I think that kind of, kind of sets us up for the victory, right? We're, our terps are about to come online, which is great. Our, uh, iron port is still collecting its efficiencies, but we have so many mortars in the go. We have the AC starting to flow and hit this uh, breeder terrain over here. We're gonna fly the sprayer up to the top as well with this improved move speed. Um, it's a little crack. A little crack. It's not 100% sure why, but it is. Um, and I guess, yeah, I guess we're just in a good state, right? The mortars are just doing great. Uh, the turps are just doing their thing. And you know, we can even we can even do one better. Uh, now that the turps sort of have made a foothold, we can we can just go big. We got all of these things. Uh, oh God, we have 24, we have 31 terps. You know what, I'm just gonna do it. We'll get rid of the urns from the terps later. Uh, but for now, I'm just, I'm happy with the, just giving them urns. Who really cares? It's not like they're gonna go bad or anything, right? Uh, they're terps, they're gonna use it real fast and then be done. So, I think we're just, again, just pretty stable. Uh, look at them go now, especially with the urns. With the others coming online, uh, we're just sort of, we're just sort of taking it. Uh, I'm gonna make the base move on over here. Uh, and I, uh, you know, I didn't even make an uh, Emrif, did I? Uh, let's toss an Emrif down here. Let's toss an Emrif out here. I think we have, yeah, we have 30 M. <laughs> we have 30 generations, so we can just freaking toss Emrifs everywhere. Who really cares at this point? Not I, says I. Uh, but yeah, we're feeling pretty good, right? We have uh, all of, basically all that we need, right? We're, we're super destroying these, or the, the sprayer, not the sprayers, the, uh, the spores that are coming. Uh, we have an insane amount of generation. Uh, I'm gonna do what I should never do, because snipers take a lot of ammo, but you know what? I'm fine with it. We'll just build them up, because look at all the friendos down here, right? They're all, they're all milling about. So get out of here, friendos. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Uh, we also want some refineries, so let's just grab a couple up here, let's grab a couple down here, that'll be pretty good. Now all of these snipers are just there to be frontline. Uh, we can already nullify some things, so we might as well do some of that, some nullification, some nullification. And, you know, we might, you know, we, we did it with snipers, might as well do it with more tears too, right? Just, just get it going. And with these refineries coming out, we can actually grab some bee cones, uh, which we will want, you know. We don't need a bajillion beacons, just a couple. Uh, like four beacons, all will want urns, uh, and our terps, you know. I love you terps, you don't need the urns anymore. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you don't need them. You don't need them. Uh, and honestly speaking, uh, all of these, you don't really need them any longer, so what I'm gonna do is just be like, all of this want. Just give it to the front line, the back line really doesn't need it anymore. And as you can see, these, just the four, just the four is really all we need in terms of earned becomes, right? Look at how far they produce. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, and one thing I don't want to do is really mess with the back. I, I should just move up the terps, that's for sure. But I don't want to mess with too many things back here because if anything gets through, the back is definitely I guess it's not that weak anymore with all this AC. Um, but it could be. I could see it being weak, I suppose. Uh, and I, I don't want to have a weak backside, right? Uh, 
that, so I'll just toss down another with the towers. Uh, apparently there's an urn there. Uh, all of these. Nearest first, please. Come on, what are you doing? Whoa! What destroyed up my, uh... What destroyed my beacons? Interesting. Something didn't like my beacons. And, you know, I'm not a fan of it. So we'll toss down another four five. Again, we got the lift deck. I am not worried about that. Uh, and we might as well. Okay. So build them up. Get them going. Get the Terps back in action. Oh, are they dying because the ground was terped under them? Is that a thing? Because they were on terping ground and the turp moved the ground, so it was like, oh no, I'm too high or too low, what have you. Um... I don't know. Uh, I got planes. I am not using planes. I am silly. Planes just just go back. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and yeah, and basically again, just we can move snips if we want. We can do more tears. But this is kind of just kind of the map that we're going for. Uh, these mortars should all come up again. Our energy is just fine. If our energy does take a monstrous hit... Ooh, those Sniverinos. Look at them with that Sniverinos. But if our energy does take a monstrous hit, all we need to do is just turn on these bad boys. Uh, so that's why I wanted to keep them up, because there's no re... You know, it's not like there's any thing that was hurting us with them being alive. Ooh, there we go, there we go. Let's grab a Nully right up front. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good, if you ask me. Um, planes are doing their thing. They're down to 3.3 generation, which is, I mean, just fine, if you ask me. Uh, ooh, I can nully this bad boy. I can nully... Is there another Dark Tower? Ah, uh, the Dark Tower's over there. Wow. Okay, Dark Tower. You do your thing. Oh, no. <laughs> All of the bad stuff. This nullifier is going to be huge, right? It's going to get the air sac cauldron, the blob's nest. Oh, it didn't get the air sac cauldron. Oh. But it got the blob's nest. It got the skimmer factory. Um, which are honestly the two main things that we needed to get. Uh, we can grab some mortars. Again, we're in supreme charge of the map, right? Supreme charge of the map. There's really nothing that they can do to stop us at this point, other than, hey, there's a lot of emitters back here. And realistically, that's that's not going to win them the, bad, the day. Uh, they're at 3.1 creeper cap. Our mortars are coming in, coming in hot, as it were. And, you know what? Uh, mortars. Earn none. Sorry. Uh, snipperinos. Earn none. And whatever is here, earn one. That's what we want to have the urns. That's all that we need to have the urns. And, yeah. I mean, just, uh, just build that power. Get that power built. Uh, I guess we could do some more, uh, some more turpituting. Might as well. Some turpin. Some turpin steams works for me. Right up front. Right up front. Uh, and can we get that nullifier in here? Yeah, we can. Perfect. So now all that's left literally is just the end, right? I mean, yeah, there's a couple eggs there and stuff, but as you can see, I mean, we've, we've decimated them. Decimated. Holy moly. Again, Terps always nearest first. Um, and yeah. Should be, should be fine. Should be fine. As you can see, the land with nearest first, it just extends. It feels real good when you see it extend like that. Because it just, you just know it's your land, right? There's no, nothing that they can do. How far? Yeah, these can do all the way to the end. So, yeah, we have, we're going to turn all the rest of the map. We can even start getting our final nullifiers in. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the final bits. Uh, we'll definitely nullify that by itself because it is pooping out all of the lovely, lovely eggs. Um, so we do want to get that as soon as possible. Get those eggs gone. But yeah, I mean, here we go. Like one for four. Another set. Sure. Sure. Uh, we'll toss you there. Why not? Why not? Uh, I think we need one there too. Oh no, that egg's gonna land on it. Dirk egg. Ah, uh, see, this egg is definitely the problem. Uh, so, what do we do to stop eggs? Shields. Shields, of course! Uh, <laughs> we'll even give it an urn. Once we get the shield in, I guess I could build some sprayers. So, bloop. Uh, 
the red eye not able to make it out of the base? It should, right? There's a emerald over here. Oh, no, it was because that's built. So I don't even know what I'm thinking. Uh, oh, it got stunned because of the firing. Oh, it didn't even think about that. It fires so fast. It doesn't. Oh, well, it doesn't even matter. Now. There we go. And everything but just one. Bazinga, bazanga. All done. All firing is on that. I got. I could have moved the planes earlier. You know what? It is what it is. Let's get this last nullifier, and that will be the second castle, or castle chapter two, part two, castle number two. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you very much for joining me. I hope you liked this series of castle chapter twos. Um, we did it in just over ten minutes, and we reclaimed in five, so it feels pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, actually really good, apparently. So, <laughs> I'm a fan. Uh one person beat us, I think, by just a few seconds. Shame on me, shame on me, but you know, it feels pretty good. Had a good time, there it is. Dib. You're the best, Dib. Um, if that one didn't mess me up, oh. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Had a blast. Uh, this is, Cap again, Castle Chapter 2, number 1 and number 2. Uh, please have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.